In this video I'm going to be machining the boiler dome. This is the throat plate and I've assembled it with the back plate just with a couple of clumps for the time being. So we're going to start looking at the uh, cast dome which sits on top of here. So um, we need to machine this with a rebit, quarter of an inch deep so that it slots in for silver soldering. This is four and a quarter square. This is much, pretty much spot on, four and a quarter square. So our rebate needs to go back three thirty-twos of an inch, a quarter of an inch deep. So that's our next task on the milling machine. So we're going to clamp it down on that face. And I've made a clamp to go down and clamp it. I've machined this so that there are only three uh, spots where it will actually clamp down. The reason for that is the surface in here is cast and it's very uneven. Tackle more, make sure the table is clean. Going to put a bit of uh, wet and dry paper on, it, on the table and this will help increase the friction between the, uh, the cast dome and the table and hopefully make it more secure. Since we've only got one clamping point we don't want it to turn. Not that we're going to be taking heavy cuts or anything. Just snip it up. Give it an eyeball. That looks about right. And we'll, okay, we're going to check it with the DTI just to get it as close as we can. It's a cast surface so it's not precise obviously but we need to line up to the best compromise we can so we've got plus 0.4 a mil so that's minus 0.4 roughly so Find a knocking stick. So that's within point one all the way along, so that's pretty good. Okay, it's it's a bit more grinding on the casting on this end, so I think we're pretty much okay. It's point four down, but as more as I say, there's more ground off this surface here. Okay, I think we've got a good compromise on how square it is to the table. So we're going to touch on the casting and just clean the edge up. The height is already pretty much its size, so I just want to clean this up a little bit. And then we'll go around the outside with a light cut, see if we can find a datum to put the cutter in the centre. And once we've got a datum in the centre, we can work from there to get the correct width in both X and Y directions. So we'll just touch on first.
so we'll raise the table a quarter of an inch I'm working in metric so it's 6.35 Okay, knock the table off. So just checking this casting for thickness on each side. 5mm, 4.7, 4.45, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 4.5, 